Can I design a brand identity from brief to name to identity system within 20 minutes? I'm skeptical, but let's go. Hello friends, welcome back to Flux, where we talk design, business and everything in between. My name is Matt Brunton, I'm a designer from the north of England and today I'm going to design a brand identity in 20 minutes or at least give it a go and you're going to come along for the ride. So let's start with a brief. We're going to get a brief from goodbrief.io. This is a really useful resource, perhaps if you're putting a portfolio together to apply to college or you just want to practice, you can choose what type of work you want to do. We're going to choose brand identity and then the industry that you want to work in. Let's go random to make it extra hard. Okay, generate. We are a company that produces timeless baseball fan merch. We pride ourselves in our worldwide reach. Our target audience is couples. We want to convey a sense of importance while at the same time being businesslike. Businesslike merch for a sport doesn't really make sense, does it? But that's what you get from these algorithm generated briefs. So let's paste this into Illustrator. Okay, so the important thing to remember is that with these kind of briefs, you would normally work with the client to develop them. They wouldn't normally present you with three sentences and be like, there you go, there's a brand identity. Maybe for a small low budget project, but usually you would work with them. And over that period when you're developing strategy, a lot of ideas come through for how the brand is going to be expressed visually. And it's through those meetings and through that thinking time in the weeks of things percolating that the good ideas drop into your head. Well, we haven't got that luxury today, so we're going to have to jump straight into it. So let's start the timer. This is going to be difficult to do and narrate, so we might have to speed up a few sections, but let's go. Okay, 20 minutes. So look at this brief. So Timeless baseball fan merch. That's the key uh, offer. Pride ourselves in a worldwide reach. Okay, I think baseball's played in about three countries, but fair enough. The target audience is couples. We want, I'm not sure about that part. Importance, business like. Well, I think importance covers that enough. I don't think that really chimes with the sports thing, so I'm going to focus on that. So we pull out the key elements of the brief. So then when it comes to creating a brand name, this will guide us. So what I would usually do is just write down a lot of the key words, uh, timeless, and you think that fits with baseball. You think of baseball, I think of, of heritage, um, is that kind of link with history of the game. Um, but timeless doesn't necessarily mean old fashioned, does it? It can just mean of a, a certain design quality, you know, that it, it's not dated. Um, so with baseball, we, this would be a key area. So think about ballpark. Um, you have things like the bat, the mitt, is it with two T's? Not sure, my wife's from the States, I should know these things. You have major leagues, minor leagues, little leagues, that often comes into it. Um, the pitcher, the batter, the diamond, the mound. So you would just start to go through these these things. I think with the uniforms are coming to mind as well. I think of all you know, like pinstripe, is that in the Yankees and these old fashioned sort of details. I reckon there'd be some really interesting uh, visual things you could you could jump off on. Um if we if we look at you know old baseball players like Babe Ruth or something like that, okay. We see these old uniforms and the general look and feel that is with the Yankees, the pinstripe, you know, so this kind of feel that might be quite interesting. Right, so you use these words and then you think about really the 
the values and the key descriptive words. We don't have a lot of those here. We have this timeless thing. We've got the worldwide thing. We've got importance. I don't know about that. It's something that people value, they care for, they have uh, passion maybe in sports. I think really I want to lean on the whole baseball thing. So then I need to think of uh, a name. So, I mean, this really stands out to me, Diamond, being the most um, visual of the names. And visual names are good because they often lend themselves to what you're going to do with the pictures when we move on from the words. So we're trying to define now what the brand is about through words. So then that guides us as we create the visuals. So I think I'm going to go with this. I would have thought Diamond and Baseball, there's probably some brands that do that. So that's part of your research to make sure that it's not covered um, with copyright and things like that. But we haven't got time for that. So let's go with something like Diamond or just Diamond, I think is good. Um, and what I would do with a brand name is I would just write it out in different ways so see what it looks like in different cases let's try it in uppercase let's try it in all lowercase and we've got it in title case at the beginning it's one word um so I, I would look at that i wouldn't do it in a font i would do that with a pen and you get used to the letter forms and that might start to suggest some some ideas here we do have some shapes like with the, with the a I'm already I'm already thinking of ideas, but let's jump into the the copy. So I like to define, as I just said, a little bit more verbally what the brand is about with the words before we jump into the pictures. So um, this is quite a good line in itself, like timeless, because it evokes heritage, but it gives some continuity. So like timeless baseball fan merch could be a great headline that we could use. Um, delivered worldwide or available worldwide or something like that um, to to really bring that through importance I think having short sentences gives it a sense of confidence business like and important it's not um, droning on and on like I am now I know you were thinking it okay so diamond timeless baseball fan merch delivered worldwide what do you think great sign off there for the radio advert okay so we've got this headline or tagline we've got the brand name so what I would move into now is sketching now I would usually do this on paper but so we can be quick and you can see what I am doing uh, we can just do it with a brush or something so obviously we're going to have a diamond and we'd look at various different ways of splitting that you have diamonds on on, on playing cards so that might be a, a suggestion but that definitely lends itself the baseball diamond shape I think is curved at the top is it more like this kind of thing you have the mound the bases let's have a look at a picture of it that might actually be helpful <laughs> baseball diamond There would be some wider shots, but yeah, I mean, I wasn't far off. Come on. So it's kind of like the diamond is created there. Okay, and there's the outfield, and it goes like this kind of thing. So you, you would want to be familiar with this. If it's not an industry or a sport or a product yet you're familiar with, you have to do that kind of research too. I'm noticing here with the A that it almost makes the top of a diamond. So could you do something where we completed the diamond here? This kind of idea, does that make sense? Well, oh, we've got too many points in here. <laughs> That's what happens when you use a brush. So there, there may be something I I in that kind of idea. It would imbalance it slightly, but we could, we could redo that or maybe just replace it with a... Um, a diamond we're still using this font and we probably want to maybe think about the font that we want to use before we 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 go much further but i'm also thinking about 
about time but uh, i'm not sure if this is a case of uh, more haste less speed but we'll just see so if we drew a diamond in here i'll do it with the pen tool let's maybe make this grid a little bit finer and if we snap to the grid and just get a feel for the kind of angle that we might want that is three out, isn't it? Yep. I'll just do a quick and dirty way. So we've got this diamond. Now it's easier to move it around. I'm not going to tell you all the buttons I'm pressing in Illustrator because this isn't an Illustrator tutorial. We want to match up this stroke weight. Maybe we stroke it to the inside. But this this actually makes sense. I mean, you could you could also use it maybe for the O. That might work. Um, but there's there's something in that as a concept. So maybe we want to think: Are we using the right font for this? So we're starting to develop a logo here. Make sure you always copy your work, by the way. So you always have a record of of where you've been as you go through Illustrator and iterate non-destructively yeah it doesn't have enough personality this and it doesn't have the timeless thing and the heritage and feel very baseball um, it's it's too modernist so think about what maybe font do we want to use or do something custom maybe something that's a serif maybe to give it some more of the heritage if you think of the like the monograms in baseball, um, like the Yankees and oh, we can't see them. MLB cap insignia. Let's use the correct terms. Yeah, so you have these kind of things like uh, letter forms and monograms, and there's a bit like uh, Detroit. They call it the English D. It's an illuminated letter. Not too many with serifs, but uh, serifs here on this TB, this T, Texas Rangers, what's this, Tampa Bay, LA has a slab serif. So if we maybe go to Adobe Fonts, I mean, there's one here with a slab serif, this Molto, we could try that. Maybe like some wood type. So obviously your knowledge comes into things here. Um, no, that's going to take too long. That's AI. Um, foundries. It's lost my search. Wood type. Okay. Foundries. We have got wood type revival, Hamilton wood type, and all those guys. So these might be helpful. Um, these are a bit wacky not a bit western hamilton i know they did have some arts with eric speakerman um this is kind of interesting aitna is that pronounced this is a bit crazy but you want to think what am i looking for so it's being conscious obviously i'm not narrating everything that's going through my brain but I knew that there'd be something in this sort of style within these wood type revival things. Maybe this guy as well, this slab one. Mm. What's the word again? Diamond. We could throw it in here. Diamond, diamond. So I'm also going to have other things in mind as we go through, like colors. I'm um, baseball very American, so maybe the red, white, and blue. I know Major League Baseball uses the red, white, and blue as well. These don't really feel quite right. Maybe this guy. I'm not sure about the contrast in the stroke weights, though. This maybe more so Colombian I don't really get that so what's this called HWT slab antique 
let's try that where's illustrator here we go so we need the word diamond again No, I mean, I don't know actually, there's kind of a vibe to it. This to me looks like it could carry through in a timeless way. It can look more modern, it can look more heritage. Um, the optical's not really working for me, it usually does, I mean, it probably just needs to be tracked a bit wider. I don't really want to manually kern this with the time that we've got. I think maybe we'll replace the O, so I'm just going to turn this into curves, ungroup it kill this O and then um, maybe draw something in it needs a little bit of a bend in it maybe like when you have um, playing cards the uh, the feel of a diamond in in that sort of scenario so I'm going to reflect this Oh, it's not wanting to do it. Um. Can I rotate this or is it going to not like that? This is where when people are watching you, it, it, it all goes wrong. You're all looking at me going, why are you being so amateurish? Come on. Reflect. That's what I want. Hey. Join it. Come on. See, I can use Illustrator, I promise. So we're still snapping to this guideline. See, this height isn't quite the same, is it, as these? How tall is it? If we maybe select this, this word again. snap that in and br just make it so the height is matches up with this grid yes now w this is sitting a lot better okay that can be our word mark because we've got five minutes left and then we want to think about um, type that's going to work with that okay so we need some accompanying type so we've got the headline and then we'll want some sort of uh, body copy as well so I'll maybe just make a little text box we'll have some lorem ipsum so this is not going to work for uh, body copy let me just make sure this thing's grouped obviously needs to be finessed with the kerning and, and such um, what you're going to do let's just go back to these this brief thinking even though we're short on time timeless worldwide importance yeah so I think one of these should be a sans at least maybe one of sans and one of serif I think if this is a serif it's going to clash a bit with the word mark it's kind of a so I think we'll keep that sans and we'll keep this serif so we'll maybe just think about some standard options that we could use like garamonds maybe a little bit too old-fashioned maybe something like plantain which is very old but it's a bit of a revival again it's very conservative though very traditional yeah and you look at maybe some of the um the foundries that you know that are the big boys the reputable ones like a monotype or something like that uh, and go there. I don't tend to just scroll through Adobe because there's I've pressed the wrong thing <laughs> because there are so many. Do you know we're not going to have time for this? For now, we've got this. Let's just typeset it a bit nicer, um, and that might help slightly. And then I'm going to go with um, what do I want for this headline? So that's in 36. Let's make this 72. I mean, it's not that bad in Helvetica. It kind of works. You maybe want something that's slightly different. Let's try, like, maybe a Unica or 
that might be a bit actually a bit too clean modernist maybe like a founders like maybe uh, sorry, yeah, Founders Grotesque is like a bit like Franklin Gothic kind of thing. It's one from Klim. I've got the test fonts in here. Let's do Franklin Gothic because that's more like something people have. The weight of the logo is very heavy, so we don't want to go super heavy with this. You see, it just doesn't sit together as well. Um, that could work, though. So it's some kind of bold, can medium weight then it contrasts a little bit more with this uh, body copy. So I'm happy with that with the type. Oh my gosh, we've got two minutes. So I think about color, I probably want to do something, we we're saying maybe with the American vibe. I think maybe going a little bit more subtle, so maybe sort of like a grayish sort of blues. That's not, that's not really blue enough, what I was thinking. Uh, maybe maybe actually try and match up the tone a little bit more of this so we look at the saturation the brightness just change the hue up and that's yeah because it can maybe going part way towards the um the feel of the the pitch even the orange of the the surface so maybe there's something in that something we can use we will probably need some oh man we haven't got time right let's try and do a mock-up in 48 seconds. <laughs> Pixels, blue, make this guy big. Now I did prepare this poster thing before. Uh, diamond, I want you to be in this color. Oh no, no, the lighter color. I'm not gonna look at the clock and then it can't hurt me, right? Um, Pixels, sure, whatever. Um, we need some sort of tagline, don't we? That's that's that's, that's not going to work without. I think just base, baseball merch, like f having fan in there, is not necessary. Ah, I keep pressing the Photoshop toolbar. <laughs> that's what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I shouldn't have copied it from that text box. It's not looking right. Okay, let's see what this looks like on the poster. Posters make it look sick. So we obviously need... We're out of time. Some photography is what I was going to say next. So I would maybe try and develop this uh, with some photography at this point. We are out of time, but let me. I can make some comments, right? Um, so we'd maybe look at different compositions. Maybe some photography could come into this space here. We maybe have uh, somebody wearing a shirt. That could that could work. Maybe just bring in elements. Maybe some illustrated elements of of baseball. That kind of thing. Look at this man. This is uh, high quality stuff. So let's probably probably start to develop it from there. But what did we get to? We got a word mark. We got a color scheme we got some font choices for the type a headline face a body copy face so you can imagine how this could be pulled together on something like uh, a website you see I was clearly hoping to do uh, more than this but this is applications now this isn't the identity so this doesn't count um, you could you could look at how this might be uh, extended I probably yeah I would definitely need another color that would be a lot darker um, should have copied that I'll add it to my swatches and that would help you know you could easily just add in a button here in this darker color if this is a website you're starting to pull something something together that would that would work Hmm, maybe. What do we think? Are you convinced? You're not convinced? Let's have a look at this word mark again. I mean, I've seen worse logos, I would say that. And I've certainly seen worse typesetting. I think that with this, there's there's something definitely. We're going to get rid of the fan word, aren't we? And um, there would be something something dead finesse these colors probably bringing the red more into the compositions 
um, that would help. But we've made a start. Whew, that was some scary stuff. You think it's easy. You try it with a camera on you. In fact, I'm going to challenge Ran and Rachel to do the same right here on the channel. Let us know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. Hopefully you've taken something from this video other than just laughing at me panicking. Budgeting your time is a really important skill when you move from learning design to working in a professional environment. Although perhaps on a co commercial project, you'd allow like two days rather than two minutes for some of these steps. If you want to learn a proven brand process that's a little bit more comprehensive than this video, then you want to check out our Flux Academy Brand Design Mastery course. In fact, we designed it to be the most comprehensive branding course that's out there on the market. It's going to give you the confidence to guide your clients through the whole process from A to Z and understand it from beginning to end. So link in the description for that, but don't show your clients this video. They'll want it done in 15 minutes next time. I'm off for a lie down. Until next time, happy designing.